Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So for now, this will be the last video for this Jira tutorial series. And in this video, we're going to look into how to use the Node.js library uh, to make a post request. Uh, so it can also be used with the get request as well. But mainly for this uh, video, we're going to look into how to make the post request to uh, create the Jira issue or story. So the purpose of using this is that um, say if you are trying to make a post request uh, from the front end framework like um, JavaScript, uh, React.js, uh, Angular or Vue, then uh, you are facing uh, some issues such as the uh, 403, uh, the permission issue, then uh, this would be the one that you might want to try out. So um, in this video, again, I'll show you how to create a Node.js project from scratch and how to install this and how to make it work. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so now let's just take a look at this one for now. I will also show you another one as well, which is the Jira client. But now let's just take a look at this one. So here, this is how we install uh, the library using the npm install Jira connector and if you want to also clone the project we can also do using these commands as well and this is the example of using it uh, this is how we import the library using the ES5 or uh, this one is the ES6 and this is how we initialize so um, what we need to have is the host which is the URL of the Jira it can be the Jira Cloud or Jira Server. And uh, this one is the strict SSL, whether we want to turn it on or off. And um, this is how we get the issue. We require the issue key. Uh, this is how they um, show the result in the console. For this one, this is the ES6. And now let's just take a look, uh, see what else that we can use this is the basic authentication with uh, API token. Um, there are more example here. Uh, cookie. So this all of the supported um, API calls. You can see that there's a lot here. We got board uh, to commands. So this is the component custom field option. It picks field groups issue so um this one this is the one that uh, we will use uh this one as well so this is the one uh it's called um create issue so that's what we're gonna make a post request using this uh, in this video mainly okay so um we have more here like password permissions you can see that there's a lot of um, API that we can use. Okay, so this is the one with the uh, Jira connector. Now let's just take a quick look again for this uh, Jira client. Um, it's similar to the previous one, which is how we import this using the ES5, ES6, and this is how we initialize. What it needs is the uh, HTTP or HTTPS and the host username and password. Uh, we have the example here. This is the documentation. So in this video, um, I just quickly show you how to use the Jira connector. Um, and now let's just uh, install this library. But uh, before installing this, we first need to create the Node.js. So uh, right here, I have um, mine uh, open the so I have opened up the uh, command prompt. So I need to navigate to the uh, folder that I just created, which is this one here, Jira Node.js. So now just navigate to the dry D, CD, Jira Node.js. And now what I need to do, I just need to uh, enter the command uh, npm init. Uh, we just gonna initialize the project from scratch. And it asks me for the uh, package name. Just press the enter key on the keyboard. Press enter a few times. Keyboard author license. Uh, is this okay? Yes. Enter again. So now let's just take a look again here. We have the package.json file created. Now let me just open this uh, folder inside the um, Visual Studio code. 
Right, so now we have the um, package.json file open in the uh, VS Code uh, with this information. And now what I need to do next is to install this uh, Express uh, Node.js um, web framework for Node. Um, so now let's just uh, click on this to copy and try to install. And now the next one is the cost. Uh, this is not required, but uh, I'm going to also install this as well. So you can see uh, this is uh, the number of downloads. Uh, so most of the time for the front end framework, we experience a lot of cost issue, but for the back end, it's very easy to install using this library, uh, especially for this uh, Node.js. So the, uh, the express install, I'm going to do this one again. And the next one, which is this one, the Jira connector, just copy this. So I can now just install this. All right, so the three libraries have been installed. And here, let's now just take a look. We have this, the Cost Express and Jira Connector. So next one is, um, you can see that this is how we're going to start the project. We can just change this to whatever that we want. But for now, I'm going to just uh, do the same thing. Create a new file called index.js. So here, um, we can just try to import the Express Cost express equal to require express um i think that um let me just uh, finish all of the basic code and then uh, i can try to explain you later on so this would save a little bit of time all right so here um, you can see that i import these two um here uh, for the express and then we use the cost so uh, this is the middleware that uh, we try to enable the cost. Um, this is the get. So one, once uh, I try to hit on the, um, so in this case, I'm using or running on the uh, local host 5000, the port 5000. Then once we hit the link, then what we can see is the start new uh, Node.js projects. So now let's just uh, try to start this uh, application i'm going to try to run this uh, using the node uh, index.js see uh, this is uh, what we get listening on uh, this suppose on not part suppose on port so let me just try to run this again we can also use a uh, node more as well so that we don't need to try to restart this again and again but uh, just for the quick demonstration, uh, I'm not going to do this in this video. So again, node index.js listening on port 5000. Let me just open the, the port 5000. All right, so here when I try to enter this, uh, this is the result that we get, the start uh, new node.js project. So that means that it's working. Um, so next step that uh, I need to in basically try to import this uh, Jira connector and try to uh, show you once I finish this. All right, so here I have uh, imported the Jira connector on top. And here this is how we initialize. This is the Jira client with the host, uh, the front bit of my um, Jira cloud uh, URL. And this is the basic of with the username and password. Uh, this is the trick. So right here, uh, we have the uh, Jira issue uh, with the create issue. So inside here, this is basically just copy and paste. Uh, so what I did, so let's say um, I'm going to just um, cut this for now. So what I did is I try to go to the Jira and then uh, try to copy everything. So once you have that, just paste it right here. And just changing the summary with uh, the Node.js library and create using the Jira connector. So other than that, that's pretty much the same thing. Uh, let me just try to start this again. So right here, what uh, it does is that uh, when I try to hit the URL with the get, um, request so it will try to create this without any conditions as you can see here i just want to show you like um, whether this is working or not so that how we're going to start with this um, now let's just go back and try to 
go to the local host and I try to hit this link again or try to refresh it. So let me just do it now. So here it's already refreshed and then let's see the command if we get anything. So seems uh, to be fine because right here we also have the uh, function for the issue as well. So say if there's an error on issue, then uh, we will show that in the command log, but nothing's happened, meaning that uh, this is successful. Now let me just uh, refresh this to see if there's a new story created in the backlog here. All right, so here it is. Um, you can see that we have the Jira REST API uh, via the Node.js library. So this has been uh, created and also with the description as well, this Jira issue is created using the Jira connector. So um, this is uh, how we use the Node.js library. And um, let's now just take a look again. So for this one, we are using the cloud version. So what about the uh, Jira server version? Uh, so it happened to be the, exactly the same thing. Uh, what we need to do, just replace the URL of the Jira server that uh, hosts on your own server with your own domain. So just replace that. And uh, for the uh, username, this would be the username. So let's say in this case, uh, for this Jira, this is on my local. You can see uh, the for the authentication, you can just use the uh, username and then uh, the password, just replace it with that. And uh, it's exactly the same thing uh, for the body, just copy and paste it inside there. And um, this is how we create using the uh, Jira connector or the Node.js library. So what about the next step? Well, uh, I think I'm going to also show you rather than just like uh, say if I hit this uh, URL, then we try to create this um, create issue, uh, a new Jira issue. I would also want to do it using the post uh, request as well. So um, to do that, I just need to change this to from the get to uh, post uh, like this. And then I might also want to accept because uh, right here we have the request and this is the response. So we need to get the uh, request with the body. So let me just uh, finish typing this for now. All right. So um, this is what it looked like right now. So what I changed is I changed from the get to post. And then here I just add the condition. So say whatever that coming from the uh, can be the front end or can be coming from the uh, postman. So this is with the status uh, while you is the uh, success. So if the status is success or successful, then we create uh, this uh, new issue. And uh, otherwise we just gonna just say that the status nope. <laughs> and um, yep, that's how we create this. Let now just try it. And also uh, say right now, because uh, we are using the post here uh, without having the get. So when we try to uh, enter the URL, we would not see anything. And uh, let me just uh, try to do it real quick. Uh, restart this and then uh, go back with this and try to refresh. So you can see that we cannot get uh, this because uh, we don't have the uh, get method. So that would be fine for now. What we need to uh, test this is to use the, um, try to create another one with the localhost 5000. Just copy this and paste it here. We're trying to make the post request with the body, uh, raw, JSON. And here, um, let me try to create the stat with the double quote status with the value of success. So uh, I don't need to save this. So this is the value. So if the status is success, uh, then it will try to create a new Jira issue. Let me just uh, click on the send button here. So here it says that um, new start new uh, Node.js projects, meaning that uh, it tried to go to this uh, post uh, request here. But um, the thing is that right now we are using the status uh, which is coming from the uh, can be the front end or uh, react.js or javascript or coming from the postman. But uh, the thing is that we haven't convert this into the uh, JSON format. 
So now here you can see that uh, it says cannot read the property or status of undefined. So this is the reason uh, why we need to also uh, try to convert whatever that coming from the outside of this Node.js into the um, JSON format. Uh, now let me just uh, do that real quick. Okay, so this is the two line that I just uh, inserted. Um, so if you watch my uh, Node.js tutorial, you would also uh, see this command as well. This is the latest version uh, of using or try to convert the uh, while you coming from the outside of this into the JSON format. Um, so now we have this set up and let me just uh, try to restart this again. So listening on port 5000, same thing. Uh, we just need to click on this to send the status of success again. And now should be fine. It look good to me. Uh, let me just refresh this uh, page and see if we get a new uh, Jira issue. All right, so here it is. Uh, let me just open this one. So, uh, same summary with the description the same thing as well but uh, this one this is created with the by sending the uh, uh, status from here so what about when say uh, let's say if I try to enter something else just enter anything random stuff and try to press this again see what else we get so here it is uh, if it is not the success status then uh, it show me the status of no as seen right here so um, that basically how we create this and if you don't want to see like the uh, error on this uh, cannot get again just uh, uh, something that you can do is to copy everything here and put it there uh, the one that inside just uh, copy the console log um, wrap this and just put this as get uh, what do I need to say here welcome to my Jira tutorial series just like that so this can be the console log. Uh, this we will see it in the command prompt as this. Uh, I want to also see this in the uh, browser as well. Doing the same thing. Let me just refresh this. Okay, so here you can see that it says welcome to my Jira tutorial series. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how we created the new Jira issue using this uh, library, Jira Connector. Of course, you can uh, try to run just like uh, in the uh, first, uh, like the link itself here. Uh, we just send anything from this link. You can just uh, try to uh, create like a new path inside the specific folder, the routes. You can just do anything that uh, based on your preference. So this is just a very simple one. Uh, I just try to show you how to quickly use this library. And I think um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something uh, new using this, uh, especially the Jira connector. And in the next video, we will look into something new, something interesting. And if you enjoy uh, with this tutorial, don't forget to hit a like uh, button for this video and also uh, ask any question in the comment section below. Until then, see you guys in the next video.